<clears throat> okay, hi, so uh, it's me, Ellen, and for this week's video lecture vlog thing, um, I'm going to be talking about life science too, and to be more specific, I'm going to be talking about the cell cycle, and to be even more specific, I'm going to be focusing on, um, well yeah, cell division, so mitosis. Uh, so I'm gonna, just going to start off by talking about how so before we even get to mitosis, there's going to be these checkpoints and these, um, it's like a cycle. So there's a cell cycle and I'm going to be using this notebook. So I'm going to be using this to show you. So before we even get to mitosis, mitosis is here, we have to go through this entire cycle. I'm going to start off with the G1 phase. And within the G1 phase, basically that is just cell growth. So basically during that, that's when like the new cells form, the new cell grows and like the they produce it makes all the organs the organelles sorry the organelles it has to make sure that it has like during this phase it makes sure that the the cell is like growing well it has all the it's big enough and it has the proper proteins for like synthesis and then after that it goes on to the next part after g1 that's called the g1 phase it goes on to s okay and then in s basically just checks um whether the DNA has been replicated correctly. That's like the biggest thing. And then if so, then it continues on with the cycle. And then G2, or like the G2, is basically the very last phase before um, my host actually begins. So just make sure that everything's in order. And then like there's checkpoints on the way if the cell is not up to par or up to like the standard, I guess, of what it takes to continue, then it does it. That's the point of the checkpoint, to make sure that everything's okay. So then after it goes past G2, then we enter mitosis. So the mitosis, there's now five phases. It's prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So prophase, basically, the citrosomes um, move to opposite poles, chromatids become visible, and spindles of the microtubules become forming. So basically, that is just like the very first step of mitosis. It's just preparing so everything's just moving to the place that it needs to be in order for mitosis to actually begin so prophase looks like this you see um the the spindles everywhere just starting to get ready and then there's prometaphase which comes after prophase and it's like the nuclear envelope around this uh the main thing that happens here is like the nuclear envelope around the the chromatids the chromosomes starts to break down and like as it starts to break down like the connector cores um so like at the chromatids there's like this little attachy area the connector cores attach to those areas so that's when the attaching begins to start and then yeah so it's like pro metaphase and then metaphase is basically this metaphase oh wait let me show you pro metaphase so you see like they've already attached to all the chromosomes the nuclear envelopes breaking up and then after prometaphase is metaphase, and that's when the chromosomes line up at the middle of the cell. And like the, there's a, what are they called? Centrioles? Centrioles? At the opposite ends of the cell, and then, you know, the chromosomes are lined up. And I'm going to show you a picture. They're all lined up in the middle of the cell, ready for division. Yeah? And then after metaphase, comes anaphase and anaphase is the part where like the sister chromatids like that are identical from each other are starting to pull apart so they pull apart based on the, um, the spindles that connected to the the connector cores or the centromeres and they start to pull them apart to opposite sides so like yeah basically that's just what happens in anaphase they're getting pulled apart so they were at the middle lined up together and now they're getting pulled apart to opposite sides of the cell and then lastly, there's telophase, and basically, um, the after being pulled apart from anaphase, and then they reach the opposite ends of the cell, and that is, that's when, yeah, they're on opposite ends of the cell, and that's kind of when they start to separate, so like a new nuclear envelope starts to form around the sister chromatids. I'm going to show you that here. And then after telophase, there's like, something called cytokinesis that isn't technically part of mitosis but cytokinesis is basically just the cytoplasm caving in and dividing so that's the actual split and that is the cell cycle and more specifically mitosis 